here I've got a seemingly similar automata but actually quite different uh, movements. I've got the pigeons. Uh, pigeons, as pigeons do, they go seemingly randomly at different speeds. Whereas these, slightly different to the partridges, and the partridges, you will watch them follow each other around. So, quite different movements to the two automata. And this is achieved, I will show you. This is achieved by the gearing. So on this one, each of the pigeons is individually geared. So on this side, so we've got the, the crank gear, which is driving uh, two gears, one on each side. This one is smaller than this one. And so this one goes faster than this one when it rotates. So, as you can see, they're both going at different speeds there. And that clearly takes a different setup on uh, the axles. Whereas this one, fewer gears, there's only one gear because this axle is a fixed one because these are going at the same speed, one slightly behind the other one. So they go forwards, one turns around, then the other one turns around. Oh, we get it. I'm just going to be stuck. So one turns around, then the other turns around. from the back so as you see this one from the back completely different movement so just a slight design change but quite different movements which suit the uh, behavior of the two different birds so resulting in basically two quite different uh, automata. These are pigeons and these are a set of what I've just made which are uh, red-legged partridges made of uh, American cherry wood mainly. All the parts, just, uh, just the central pillar is made of um, birch ply uh, because if I just used uh, straight wood there's a dangerous shrinkage and gears jamming together but using the birch ply is much more stable. So thank you for watching. Bye bye.